I think there's a couple of things I wanted to quickly touch upon. And uh, I know these days, one of the things that everyone's uh, been looking at is chat GPT. Uh, so what I thought is, uh, let's test drive chat GPT and see what do you guys feel? Uh, how good is chat GPT in helping me come up with OKRs? I hope you guys can see my screen. Uh, so here's something that I asked ChatGPT. I, uh, there's a new open source product that I'm building called Specmatic. So I'm like, uh, I'm asking ChatGPT, I want you to look at specmatic.in and help me come up with some OKRs for the next quarter. Uh, we don't really have a lot of tooling in place uh, to measure this. Also, we just launched pricing plans and are trying to improve awareness, branding and adoption of the tool. Right, so that's the question I asked GPT, and uh, GPT came back uh, with these. In fact, it actually came up with two options, but I'm just going to put this first option up here. What do you guys think? How this is terrible, it? terrible. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Well, look, look at all those. Is, all every single one of those key results is it is an output. Every single one. Not one of those key results is a is an outcome, is a meaningful change in human behavior. And and those objectives, like what's why do we want to increase specmatic awareness and brand visibility? I mean, you could say it that way, but you know, but but again, hosting four industry-related workshops, that's an activity. That's not a behavior change. Why, why, what will people be doing differently after you host four industry-related workshops? Partner with two to three influencers. Okay. Uh, why? What will people be doing differently after I partner with two to three influencers? You see what I'm saying? But you can ask that about literally every single one of those key results. Like they're they're all output based key results, and and again, the objectives aren't. I mean, you could argue that they're qualitative. Yeah. So if I just go through the list, right? I would I would say they're qualitative in some sense. Yeah, Are they inspirational and aspirational. Uh, maybe really not. Uh, just going through your checklist, right? And are they actionable and action oriented? I would say kind of yes, kind of. Yeah, the key uh, results are tasks. They're all tasks. Conduct. You can you can see you can see it in the verbs, right? Conduct, implement, offer, create, set up, publish, host, right? The verbs, right? Who does what by how much? is not answered by any one of those key results. Perfect. So all I was trying to highlight is it's done okay, in my opinion, on the on the objectives, uh, but it's done pretty poorly on the key results. Uh, is that the verdict? Is that a fair verdict? I'm going to I'm gonna object to the objectives. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the thing. OKRs need to be, and we didn't talk about this, in, in today's presentation, but we talk about this in the book, OKRs are an expression of your strategy. And so what is strategy? Strategy is uh, our opinionated approach to solving our most important problem, right? It's our opinionated approach to succeeding in the market. So we have an opinion about what we're going to do and why. We're going to be the most expensive electric car in the North American market because we believe that signals, that's, a, that's a, a, an opinionated choice. We believe it signals that we are the highest quality, the most exclusive, the aspirational brand, right? Um, that's a strategy. It's an opinionated approach to solving an important challenge. I, I have no idea what the strategy is here. The strategy is, it could, this could be a good strategy. Right, we want to increase brand awareness. We want to create a community, and we want to encourage adoption. Okay, that's pretty a generic, though. Correct, right? because it's a very generic prompt, right? I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's no way GPT would know what your strategy is or what it is. But what's interesting, it did come up with saying, "Hey, you do need to build a community," because in the prompt, nowhere I've mentioned about building community or focusing on community, but it kind of suggested that. Anyway, that's that was not the point. What's interesting is the next prompt, uh, which is basically, 
Uh, same thing, except that I want you to take a look at specmatic.in and help me come up with some customer-centric OKRs as defined by Jeff and Josh uh, for the next quarter, and everything else remains the same. Uh, do you see any difference now? There is a little bit of a difference. So I'm just I'm just scanning the key results. The first just uses is the word customer more. <laughs> Yeah, because he's asked. <laughs> customer, customer, customer. <laughs> uh, like, increase the number of engaged users on the community forum by 40%, right? It starts to get into solutioning a bit, right? Active moderation and weekly Q&A, and it doesn't really define engaged, like what does engaged mean, right? So it's 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 a baby step forward there. Uh, but then develop and publish a series of use cases, set up a monthly virtual workshop, create a first 30 days onboarding email, launch an early adopter. All this is pretty much the same. So it's like a tiny, 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 it's like a newborn baby's step forward. So GPT needs a lot more prompting and learning before they can come up with good OKRs. Is that the verdict? Yeah. Yeah, they need to steal more of our books. Yeah. Once the book is published, I we can try it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is just something I just wanted to play around uh, because... That's very funny, Naresh. It, it was, uh, that, that's the first time I've been asked that question. So kudos to you. <laughs> I, I find uh, a lot of people are interested in, uh, you know, can GPT solve things? And then you take a topic and then you get the expert to say, well, how well did GPT do on this? Uh, and you always get interesting insights uh, from the expert that you may have not noticed. So I'm just, I thought that would be helpful for people. Yeah. Next time, at least you go and ask GPT for something, maybe look at it from that lens. I mean, I think, I think, you know, Paul, Paul uh, makes a point in chat says, uh, I think that's why everyone can say they have OKRs, but we're still struggling to make a difference. And I think, you know, yeah. I think like OKRs are a really promising framework, but that's, you know, and, 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 and a promising framework that we both really like, you know, um, but you can use that framework well, or you can use the framework poorly. And so you don't like automatically get magic when you, you know, pull OKRs out of your pocket. Yeah, and, and I think the important point that you uh, that you highlighted, and I'm glad you did uh, as uh, because of this conversation was that there is a strategy, uh, a, a strategy in, in the OKR, right? Uh, which I don't know how many people actively think about when they're thinking about OKRs, because unfortunately I see that becoming quite a bit mechanical exercise in a lot of places. And they're not really stitching that into the strategy. And uh, just like how you pivot on the strategy, maybe you also pivot on your OKRs and things like that. I don't know. What's your view on that? I, I just wanted to, I was curious. Do you, do you iterate on the OKRs itself once you've set them? Yes. Yeah. I mean, look, the OKRs are based on a series of assumptions, right? We're going to make a, a, our best guess about the, the world we'd like to create and the behaviors that we think are going to get us there. As the teams begin to work towards those goals, they're going to learn what's true, uh, what's not true. Uh, is this the right objective? Are we chasing the right behaviors? Did we set the numbers correctly? And we want to pause and reflect that the OKR cycle that we advocate for in the book is a quarterly cycle because that's common. But whatever the cycle time is that makes sense for you, you want to pause and reflect and retrospect, right? If you're thinking about agile terms, about what we've learned in the last quarter. Does the objective still make sense? Do the key results still make sense? Has something changed in the world to make us focus on something else? Right? Did we crush all the key results and we need new ones? Are we never going to hit these key results? So absolutely. Like we always say that like the longest, I mean, and, and this is in, in a generic setting, but the longest you ever have to live with your OKRs is a quarter. Because at the end of that quarter, uh, we you, you, you can begin and reflect, to begin to reflect and see whether or not you've actually, you're still chasing the right goal. So the quarter is what would be your 
uh, time to kind of go back and reflect. Yes. Yeah. But if you try to do it too early, maybe it's just too premature. Well, I mean, yeah. again, if it, again, if look, if you're Depending. Facebook and and you've got two billion users, you might learn faster than a quarter, right? Uh, very few of us have that kind of user base to work with.